we have the right uh, of, to know what's going on and the university should tell us like what exactly going on. Well, police and students remain on high alert this morning after a body was found on the University of Texas campus. And a lot of unanswered questions still remain. Police once again search to this scene for more clues. A woman's body was found Tuesday in Waller Creek near the UT Alumni Center across from the football stadium. The Austin Police Department is now leading the investigation. During the search yesterday, though, we noticed Travis County Search and Rescue had joined the effort. That's a group that specializes in missing persons cases and human remains. And as the investigation continues, concern is growing among the student body. Uh, there's a lot of homeless activity that goes down in Waller Creek. So when I got the email originally, I didn't even, it didn't even cross my mind it could be a student until the story is unfolding. Police still have not released the victim's name. Officials say, though, she is a woman in her 20s. But we also at this point don't know how she died. I wish they were more forthcoming with the information because, you know, I've walked home at 2 a.m. before and I feel like I can never do that again. Well, this morning, several law enforcement agencies continue to beef up patrols on the University of Texas campus. Kate is live on campus with the details and all the activity that you're seeing out there. Yeah, it's certainly been a lot this morning, Sally, because UT police are getting some help from APD and DPS. We've seen this throughout the morning. You can see it right behind me now. Uh, we see lots of bike patrols coming through the area this morning as well. Now, they're here on scene right here behind me because this is where the crime scene is. They're making sure folks don't walk through there. They're trying to secure it. But despite concerns by students, a suspect has not been caught. A program on campus that makes sure students get back to their home safely is not being used, we're told. It's called Sherwalk. Two volunteers meet students at their location and will walk with them to their destination. But volunteers say not many people are using the program. In my time, I've probably experienced about one phone call and I've been doing Sherwalk. I expected that more students would be using the services. Now, we should note that police have not said to us whether the woman who was killed, if she was walking alone at night, or even what the circumstances were around her death. But police are taking this opportunity to remind people to encourage them to make sure they walk in pairs. Take their earbuds out. Don't be distracted by your phone when you're walking alone. Of course, we'll keep you posted if there are any new developments in this case. For now, we're live on the UT campus. Kate Wydaw, KXAN News. Kate.